agreements with to better uh, working conditions and wages such as McDonald's, Taco Bell, mm -hmm. other other people, other supplier, um, sorry, other buyers. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what this is right here. Yeah. Entonces, esto es más como tenemos la campaña ahorita con Publix, entonces, como nosotros podemos dar a entender a la comunidad qué es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. And so how we have the campaign with, against Publix right now, what we do is we show this drawing to the community as a way for them to understand, you know, what's happening and why they are in the situation they are and why we mm -hmm. have the campaign that we do have. Es algo constante que hacemos como con la comunidad. Usamos el otro medio que tenemos también en nuestra comunidad que no es fácil de tenerlo, pero gracias también hemos tenido la oportunidad de tener una radio que es 107.9, la tuya o Radio Conciencia. So an, another uh, form of, of communication that we've been able to utilize is the radio. Uh, it was kind of difficult for us to, mm -hmm. to obtain, but it's something we've been able to use in the community. Uh, it's Radio Conciencia, or La Tuya is the nickname, um, yeah. which means yours, your radio. Um, and basically it's been a really important mechanism for organizing people in the community, workers. Yeah. Entonces, eso es un medio también que facilita más rápido eh, a la comunidad de, por ejemplo, nosotros tenemos programaciones para hablar de, sobre los derechos de los trabajadores, qué podemos hacer cuando nosotros enfrentamos un problema y qué podemos hacer para poder eh, mejorar las condiciones de nosotros también, como cosas así importantes hablamos en la radio. Mm -hmm. And so this radio station allows us to talk about really important things since there's no other um, means of communication to, that speaks to workers about what they face in their lives. Um, this station allows us to talk to workers about what their rights are, um, ways that they can improve their conditions, things that they shouldn't have to put up with, what to do if something happens, um, things like that. And so it's been a very po powerful tool for us and for the workers in the community. Y como le estaba diciendo hace rato, pues la comunidad es una comunidad que hablan diferentes idiomas, entonces en la radio tenemos programaciones especiales, por ejemplo, tenemos un programa en MAM, en Canjobal, y eso para que la gente que le dificulta hablar en español y entender lo que nosotros estamos haciendo en la organización, entonces hay programas también donde compartimos con la comunidad lo que se está haciendo, pero en el idioma. And also, I'd also just like to note, um, in the radio station, we also have programs that are in these native languages as a way to communicate with some people. As we're saying, Spanish is a, a second language for some of these people that come here. So mm -hmm. we will have a program in MAM or Cancoval or something like that as a way for people that might not handle the Spanish language or English language as well to understand what's going on in the community. También, pues, noticias sobre nuestros países que hablamos. Um, de esa forma, nosotros eh, hacemos posible y pues dentro de la radio también se aprovecha también de que hay trabajadores que tienen posibilidad de poder hablar, por ejemplo, desarrollarse dentro de esto. O sea que nadie es profesional, pero a través de la radio pues aprovechamos y la gente aprende y empieza a compartir lo que vive como la experiencia de ellos. And it's also a very powerful tool. Um, we also use it as a way to um, share news with, con with share news about what's going on in our home countries. Um, also, but it's also a skill sharing thing that we do. For example, members of the, the coalition can come in and anybody can be a DJ and we'll actually share that skill with workers who are interested in learning about um, radio, working in media, and that's a skill that we can pass on to different members of the community. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, para cerrar más que nada, pues eso es lo que la forma como nosotros animamos a la comunidad eh, de tomar más que nada la conciencia, que es el nombre de la radio, y también eh, tomar el compromiso de tomar acción para poder cambiar eso. Y pues eh, creo que el cambio pues es algo despacio, pero eso es lo que estamos haciendo. And so these are the mediums that we use basically to cause change and, and work towards a more sustainable community in Amakli for farm workers. Um, and it's something that's very slow and it's taking, it's taking a long process, but it is something that we are seeing improve. So. Yeah. Entonces, bueno, es más que nada, hay muchas cosas, pero creo que le toca a alguien. So, that's all I have um, for that. Um, my name is Arabella Daniels, and I work with the Student Farm Worker Alliance. Um, and basically, the Student Farm Worker Alliance, just real quick, it's an organization that works not for, but with the CIW. Basically, um, it's a way for youth on universities and in communities to plug into the struggle of the CIW. Um, so basically what we're hoping for in terms of sustainability is a more sustainable supply chain. How we as consumers can be a part of a more sustainable supply chain. Um, basically, uh, one thing I, I wanted to talk <coughs> about um, 
whenever you hear um, the word sustainability, I don't know how many of you have ever heard of the term greenwashing as well. Um, and basically when we think about sustainability, a lot of things come to mind like the, the environment and things like that. Um, but y I feel like workers' rights maybe are something that, that aren't brought up so much. So for example, maybe you buy your tomatoes and they're organic and it's sustainable for the environment of that community, but what about for the people that pick those tomatoes or pick those apples? Are they sustaining themselves um, when they can't afford, they don't have enough, they don't have enough wages um, to feed their families or support their local economies? So maybe like a more broader definition of, of what sustainable means. Um, so basically what I was going to talk to you all about um, is the website that we have um, and how we, we use that with our campaigns um, for a more sustainable supply chain. Um, what we try to do um, at the Student Farm Worker Alliance is take our lead from the CIW. Um, we have a campaign that is mostly run via the internet, which is it's a national uh, network that we have. And what we try to do is take our lead with the CIW as far as, as our website goes. Um, we always try to make new, new pictures, up-to-date uh, campaign information. Things are changing a lot. I would say we update the website at least like two or three times a week with different events, actions that people and allies are taking around the country to support the workers. Um, let's see. Um, and another thing that's really important for us, um, being as that mm -hmm. our campaigns um, mainly come off of the website and that's how we organize people, it's very important for us to have really clear and focused messaging, um, make sure things aren't convoluted, um, that our wording is very clear and precise. Um, the campaign that we have currently right now is called the Dine with Dignity campaign. And this is a little different from what the CIW is focusing on. They're focusing on Publix right now. But we're focusing on food service providers, which would be things like Aramark, Sodexo, Compass. These are companies most of us maybe don't hear about, but these are companies that provide food for schools, hospitals. Aramark, for example, provides food for um, for FGCU here on campus. Um, and basically for this, uh, to launch this campaign, uh, it was launched online. Um, we had to basically brand ourselves to kind of separate, you know, our identity. Um, we can see the Dine with Dignity logo up there. And that's been really important for us as separating ourselves from the separate campaign with Publix. Um, and let's see, and I would like to mention, um, it's been really good for us, this whole like separate launch. Um, and it's been very successful. We've only had the Dine with Dignity campaign for seven months. We've already had a victi mm. victory with Compass Group um, and Bon Appetit, uh, which is a food service provider. And we are looking like we're, we're doing well with our negotiations with Aramark currently. Um, so I feel like it's been a, a very effective campaign. Um, and then briefly, real quick, um, I wanted to mention Facebook and Twitter, which I know a lot of us use for mainly network, social networking type purposes. Um, but it's also been a very good thing for us in terms of financial sustainability. I don't know how many of you on Facebook ha have like the causes application where you can become a fan of somebody or their cause. Um, that's actually helped us to raise since I think August over $774 and also do a sustainer drive, which is something where you can sign up to monthly have like five or ten dollars drawn from your bank account and since August we've managed to get over 30 people to sign up to that and it's more than 300 and something dollars a month which is like almost a salary for a staff person in Immokalee so using the internet to sustain um, not only these campaigns but the people that are on the ground working for these campaigns and, and trying to realize them um, so that's basically uh, what we've been doing so far Jake, are you still there? I am still here. Can you hear me okay? Can everybody hear Jake? Yeah. All right. Okay, well, I would just like to say it's a real pleasure to be able to join you tonight and to see so many uh, friendly faces um, and crowd there. So I'm really, really glad to be able to join you. Um, I'm just going to be taking my sort of 10 minutes or so to um, share some research from uh, government bodies over here the uh, UK Sustainable Development Commission and the Institute of Public Policy Research and they uh, provide information on sustainability and communicating sustainability directly to the Prime Minister in London and the Cabinet in Westminster. 
And in particular, uh, just to talk a bit about research that they did analyzing the main approaches currently taken in 